Schumacher, Citadel Defense. So a couple of years ago, I think about one to two years ago, there was this case where these three guys uh, came into a house, they were home invaders, and the homeowner uh, grabbed their rifle, they had an AR-15, they got that, and he shot them. And as far as I know, none of them, none of them made it. They all, they all died. And uh, at the time when this came out, it was, it was a big deal. If I can find a story for it, I'll try to link it in the description below. But uh, I remember the, a family relative of one of the guys who didn't make it, one of the criminals who tried to invade someone's home and threaten their life. Uh, one of the family members said, you know, it wasn't a fair fight. It's, it's unfair that this guy grabbed his rifle and just shot him because he was afraid of a fair fight. Well, the, the first thing I would say to that is he's right. It wasn't a fair fight. And the second thing I would say is it's not supposed to be. Uh, th there is no such thing as a fair fight in real life. In sports, uh, we do everything we can to make it a fair fight, right? We have different weight classes. Like I, I watched some MMA, right? So you have different weight classes. People got to cut. They got to make weight. Uh, we, we try to do all these things we can to make it as an even a fight as possible. Uh, why? Be because we're there for the sport of it, right? We, we like to try to eliminate all the extenuating circumstances so that th there can be a, a sporting event, so that we can get it as fair of a fight as possible so that we can enjoy the entertainment of the fight, right? It, it's the same with all sports, right? They, it's the same with all sports. They do everything they can to make it as, as an even playing field as possible so the person with, with the skill, with the dedication, with the drive, so that person wins, right? And sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. But in real life, when your life is on the line, you want as much of an advantage as you can possibly get, right? That's, that's a big reason we're a proponent of guns to defend yourself because they give you an unfair advantage over someone who doesn't have one. Or they at least even the odds against someone who does have one, right? That's why we want you to carry a gun. That's why I want you to be trained to use a gun so that when your fight comes, when someone's threatening your life and they're trying to take your stuff or invade your house or whatever and your life is on the line, it is a lopsided contest, right? I don't want that to be a fair fight for you. I want it to be over before it started and you ran right through that guy and you're not even warmed up yet and you're still looking for who else is trying to kill you. Right? That, that, that's where we want to be. We want it to be as unfair of a fight as possible. That's the goal. Uh, Magpul's motto is unfair advantage. I think that's a great, I think that's a great model for what they do and, and the equipment they make. But there's a lot of truth to that, right? That's what we want. We want our team to have as much advantage as possible. Let me tell you what's never happened in history, right? Uh, in his, you know, like especially in the ancient world, uh, generals might get together, and even in the Middle Ages and, and Dark Ages, they'd get together and, and they'd talk before the battle, right? The generals would ride out and they'd chat and they'd decide if they're actually going to fight today and whatever. Let me tell you how that conversation never went. General A never wrote up and said, well, Bob, you know, how many, uh, how many guys did you bring to the fight today? And Bob's like, well, I brought 753. And the other guy says, oh, well, I brought 863. So why don't I just send 110 guys home, and that way we can have a good fair battle today, right? That's never happened. That's, that's preposterous. Uh, as far as I know, the current army standard is 3 to 1. They won't go attack uh, a force unless they have a 3 to 1 advantage, right? We always want to have as much of an advantage in our fight for our life as is possible. All right, we, we, that, that's what we want. We want all the advantages. So if someone ever gives you this guff about it's not a fair fight or only a coward needs a gun or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you can tell them you're right. It's not fair and I don't want it to be. This isn't a sporting event. This is going to determine whether or not I go home and sleep in my own bed or whether or not I die today. I, I'm, I'm very, very interested in having it being a lopsided contest. We want to do anything and everything we can to get every little advantage in order to win that fight. Do brave deeds and endure.